hello guys welcome welcome to another tutorial by supreme tuber in this video we will be discussing the layout and working principle of gas turbine power plant okay so as the name suggests gas turbine power plant is uh, operated by using gas gas is the working medium of gas turbine power plant uh, gas is used to move the prime mover which is turbine to produce electricity okay the gas can be of any type the gas can be either you know simple gas air around you okay natural gas or it can be also uh, non reactive mixture of gases mixture of gases so that the uh, power plant does not uh, react with any of the gas and it does not corrode okay so the basic working principle of gas turbine power plant is like this okay uh, first air is taken from the atmosphere or uh, it is supplied if it is non reactive mixture of gases air is taken okay then air is compressed then it is uh, sent in a combustion chamber combustion chamber here fuel is added and the compressed air burns uh, gets heated because of the burning of the fuel then this uh, hot gases are sent to the turbine and this turbine drives the alternator okay so the basic working principle is the air is first compressed then it is sent to the combustion chamber where the burning of fuel makes the air into hot gases and these hot gases are used to move the turbine which in turn drives the alternator and produces electricity okay so now i will discuss the layout of uh, this plant the working this was our working principle okay air is taken from the atmosphere okay it is if air is taken from the atmosphere it is filtered okay so this is our filter okay air is taken in the atmosphere then it is sent to a compressor so this filtered air is uh, passed through the compressor okay so this is my compressor actually there are two compressors in gas turbine power plant let me uh, draw the structure so that you can understand so this is also a compressor and this is also a compressor okay this is our low pressure compressor low pressure compressor okay i'll write lp here okay and this is our high pressure compressor okay high pressure compressor okay so uh, the air if gets filtered enters into, into the low pressure compre uh, compressor gets compressed to some extent okay this is uh, some uh, this is air which is compressed to some extent okay then this compressed air it's sent to an intercooler this is intercooler okay so um, what intercooler does it when the gas is compressed in the low pressure uh, turbine uh, low pressure compressor it, the temperature of the gas raises to a certain extent okay so uh, before sending the this gas this gas to the high pressure compressor it is uh, an intercooler is employed this is the symbol for an intercooler intercooler okay so the what intercooler does it it brings down the temperature of this gas so that it can be compressed more because if the temperature of the gas is more the collisions in the gas particles are uh, very high and if the collisions are high Uh, it can't be compressed uh, very well okay so before passing it through the high pressure compressor the temperature of the gas is brought down using intercooler okay so after uh, the gas has entered the high pressure turbine it is compressed fully compressed okay so uh, here we have a combustion chamber uh, sorry here we have a heat exchanger okay this is a heat exchanger okay so after uh, the gas has been compressed fully it is sent to the heat combustion heat uh, heat exchanger okay i have drawn the heat exchanger here so that the diagram can be more clear okay uh, you can you need you just need to visualize that there is a pipe connecting high pressure turbine and uh, sorry high pressure compressor to the heat exchanger okay so i'll just draw it with a pencil okay so the reason heat exchanger is so shown here is because so that the diagram can be clean okay so what is heat exchanger does that when when we use intercooler we come, we cool the air okay so the temperature of air is uh, not very high okay but it is pre its pressure is very high so um, for passing the air through the turbine 
we need we need its both its temperature and pressure should be high so heat exchanger heats the heats this compressed air okay then this uh, then this slightly heated and compressed air so this slightly heated and compressed air fully compressed air is sent here this is our combustion chamber okay combustion chamber okay here fuel is also added as you can also see in the working principle i already told you air is first compressed okay air is first compressed okay and uh, the reason we are employing two compressor is to increase the efficiency that's all okay so the air is first compressed then it is sent to the combustion chamber where fuel is added and then is and then it enters the turbine okay we use the heat exchanger in between to increase the efficiency okay also these uh, these are all uh, you know boiler accessories they are used so that uh, you can say they are they are accessories they are used to improve the efficiency of the cycle okay so after uh, after it has entered the uh, combustion chamber the uh, gases have entered the combustion chamber it is uh, sent to a turbine okay so i'll make a turbine here this is a turbine okay so this turbine drive uh, this turbine is coupled so this uh, uh, this turbine is coupled with the compressor okay so the energy uh, produced in the turbine is also used to drive the compressors okay uh, so this turbine is coupled with the compressor which in turn is coupled with the alternator this is the alternator okay so uh, this uh, uh, some of the work which is produced in the turbine uh, is used to drive the compressor and the remaining work is used to Uh, is used to run the alternator which produces our electricity okay so this is our electricity supply okay so after uh, uh, so if we leave the cycle here it will work okay but the problem here is we can we can still improve the efficiency of the cycle how can we still improve the efficiency of the cycle after the after the gases which ha have expanded in the turbine if if we again okay so the gases have expanded in the turbine but there is still some heat remaining in the turbine if we want to utilize that heat we send uh, this uh, these expanded gases into another turbine we call this our low pressure turbine okay low pressure turbine okay this is our high pressure turbine okay so uh, this low pressure turbine uh, is coupled with the low pressure compressor so that as similarly in a, uh, they are uh, the low pressure compressor works in a similar way as the high pressure compressor the high pressure compressor uh, takes the energy of the high pressure turbine to run and the low pressure compressor takes the energy of the low pressure turbine to run uh, they both are coupled with turbine so that we don't require any external sources for the compressors to run okay so uh, after the uh, gas has again expanded in the low pressure turbine it is sent to the heat exchanger which is which uh, which is further used to utilize the remaining heat energy in this gas to heat this gas okay to heat this gas okay this one this one okay but uh, we also employ a reheater here this is our reheater this is employed to increase uh, increase the efficiency okay so this was our main working principle of gas turbine or power plant after uh, now the as the Uh, my layout is completely complete i'll just once again quickly summarize what i told you the air air first enters the filter then it enters the low pressure compressor here it goes through the intercooler where the air is cooled so that the temperature uh, so that its temperature decreases and uh, collision among particle decreases then it enters an high pressure compressor then it goes to a heat exchanger to heat it after entering the heat exchanger it goes into the combustion chamber where it is fully heated exhaustively heated so that uh, after that it is sent to a high pressure turbine where it expands and produces mechanical work this mechanical work is used to, to drive the alternator and the high pressure compressor this uh, the remaining in the after the this gas after this gas has expanded in the turbine there is still some heat remaining we reheat this gas and uh, use it to drive the low pressure turbine which in turn is coupled with the low pressure compressor so they both work uh, okay then the air enters the heat exchanger and the cycle repeats so this is the basic working principle of uh,
गैस टर्वाइन पावर प्लांट इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो डू लाइक शेयर कमेंट सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल माई चैनल इज सुप्रीम ट्यूबर यू कैन ऑल्सो फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम सक्षम डॉट जैन इज माई यूजर नेम ओके इंस्टाग्राम दिस इज यूट्यूब ओके सो थैंक यू गाइज फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो